ほらほらー I hope they don't expect anything interesting here. ほらほら Welcome raiders from Kurlish are prepared to be utterly destroyed to a pops. Hello, hello, Raiders, welcome! Hello, Kirishia, how's it going? Thank you so much for the follow Strider Strider 59 and welcome to this mess we call a stream. I forgot I left Dito in Obama Mall, so yes, welcome everyone, I'm Meryl Tier for Russian Alchemist and we're just about to start the stream, how's it going? What were you guys playing? And say hello, Raven, sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes, yeah, super late for you. Yeah, go to bed. Have a great night. Thank you so much for the rain. Yeah, oh, back rain. Oh, Witcher 3. Like, the Witcher games look so much fun, but, like, they are so long. So, too much work commitment. I I'm always scared to start them because I know, like, I either will drop them or, like, it will take me so long to finish them. Uh. So... Given that we are just about to start, like, hello everyone, I'm Aaron Tier, Persian Alchemist, this is Raven, this is my friend, we play Final Fantasy XIV, we tend to be a trio most of the time, playing, but one of the part of the trio left us today for a better life, which means they are at a concert, so... <laughs> Abandoned I mean, us. Yeah, 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 like, how dare they? But yeah, we're going to have, like, be playing Final Fantasy XIV, chilling, um, pretty much that. Like, that's the plan for the stream. It's just a like, super chill stream where we just like talk whatever and, and have a nice chill night. So, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. Oh, there we go. Okay, so. Uh, we are just doing the main story quest. Basically, Raven and Aradia, which is my other friend, uh, help me, uh, accompany me in this arduous, a long, 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 long journey of the main story quest of Final Fantasy XIV, which I both love and I kind of hate. Ah. How are you doing, Raven? Because we didn't have much time to, to talk before the stream. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I just had to let the dogs out. And other than that, I was just fine. I'm trying to find you now. I I'm trying to listen to you because I'm a bit... There you are. Oh, I'm an idiot. I lowered you. Ah, gotcha. I, I was trying to lower the game music, like in my, my headphones, not in the stream. And... Oh, wait a second. Are you... No, no, no. You are not muted, right? Say hello, Raven, again. I, I, okay, hello. no, you're not muted, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> I know, it's fine. Your Chocobo looks so cool, dude. Thank you. Uh, Aradia was the one that got me the armor for it. And... Uh... There's a certain point in the game where you can get him or your chocobo out as a companion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to do that quest. Like, I, I'm. Oh, no, I can't get as a quest, right? I did it. Didn't I? I think you did to get the chocobo, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You just yeah, need yeah, yeah, greens. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the Easter greens. There we go. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Look. It's a baby Bro, chocobo. Oh, it's so adorable. Yeah, it's adorable. It's a potato sized chocobo. Yeah. And this thing's a hmm? chonker. Yeah. I got a chonker sized one. Yeah, you got the, the cool family package. I got the like one person meal. I mean, you need dessert because, yeah. Here. The other, only other barding I've got is. Oh, that's so cool. I took it myself eventually some global customization. I think you can unlock um, the Black Mage Barding with the achievement one. I will eventually reach that. Like, I'm not too much in a rush to get achievements, like, for now. Like, 
I still need to do so much main story. Like, I'm not even half of the main story, right? Yeah. Like, right. Uh, it's going too long. Which is why I'm here to help. Okay. Uh, let me remember. Where was I? Because, like, how do I see the quest? I never. Oh, there we go. Which one is the main story? So I have. No, that's not the one. Oh, this one. Maybe up in like. Yeah, top left corner of your screen, I'll say main scenario quest. Does it? Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, oh, I need to go to a city I never went to. Uh, where is that? Okay, so I need to go to Gridania. Let's go to Gridania. Woo! Okay. I need my fellow bar a little bit. Oh, I was like, you know that Magic the Alien, the, the, the Lord of the Rings um, expansion set, whatever is coming out, right? Yeah. And I was debating for a few weeks, like, should I buy one? Because I I, I love the Lord of the Rings, right? Like, uh, I'm a big Silmarillion fan. I have like a, a super cool like a uh, special edition of, of the book, like all the books in, in one super shy and dictionary type of book. And <laughs> Thank you for the Murray. <laughs> How's it going? Welcome. And, and I was like, oh, should I buy it? Should I not buy it? I was like, okay. <laughs> because what's the problem? Like, not only expensive, right? To, to buy like a booster bottle or whatever, right? Because, but like in Argentina, it's quite expensive because like you can get it at like double the price that you guys get it there it's cheap right because most places you will find it like at twice the price or more right because right. yeah in, in portal ship right and i was like oh should i buy it like i found a place that was only selling at twice the price i was like should i should i okay i, I, I will do it i will do it like i started, finally decided like today like oh yes I, i'm going to buy it i can make a stream show open the the the, the water stream like that, that that sounds like good content right and, and, and I, I sent a message to the store and was like, no, it's it's sold out. Like, but, but what? It didn't arrive yet. No, it's already sold out. I'm like, why? How? So yeah, my dreams are, are over before this time. Oh, that is rough. Yeah, and I was like, okay, maybe there's some other place that I'm finding. Maybe it's, it's, maybe it's a little more expensive. I can maybe buy it too. And I couldn't find it anywhere else except a place that had like a 3.5 times the price that in the States, right? And there was a lot too. So I was like, okay. <laughs> that, yeah, like. Uh... Oh, that's sad. I hate that. We had oh. um, the same issue here with our shop. But, well, not for like the main bundles, but because of that one ring treasure quest everyone's on. Oh, yeah, yeah, because for the, um, you mean like the, um, uh, the one the, of the one. ring. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can only get those in what are called set bundles. Oh, I didn't know And, that. yeah, you, you can get the regular version of it, but the, the stylized. Yeah, yeah, the, the numbered, yeah. The numbered one is the one everyone's after, because there's like a million dollar bounty on it. Yeah, yeah, it's insane. Um. Well, turns out, if you put a million dollar bounty on something, uh, people just that already have a ton of money will just spend more money to get it. Yeah. And one dude uh, tried to buy up the entire stock of our local game store. Oh, no. Uh, <sighs> thankfully, the owner was not a greedy pig and decided to say, hey, we can't do that. We gotta leave it for other people. Um... Oh, give me a second. But, sorry to hear that, Murray. I hope you feel better. I'm sorry to hear oh. that your back is like hurting so much. It's it's part of old age, I guess. I'm interested. Oh, yeah, it could be that. I'm sorry, Murray. Sorry. You You're fine. <laughs> I was also sorry, Murray. Hope you feel better. But that's amazing. Like, th um, that's cool that the the store like would like a point and stop to do that kind of thing because yeah it sucks yeah 
it didn't stop that dude from just getting like five people to do it for him and when we all found out about it uh there ended up being five people banned from the store after that. i mean yeah no wonder like that, that, that sucks yeah because it, it basically said hey we don't want anyone else to have fun with this i mean and we're he, okay with that exactly and like he can like if he wants to do that he can just buy them in amazon right just buy the amazon ones and, and go, like leave the, the local store to, to like the actual customer oh the local stores you get um like a little specialty cards with it yeah 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 but he's not like he's not after the specialty card he wants the ring right so that's why yeah. amazon that that would make sense but you know yeah i'm asking too much yeah you're asking for people not to be like terribly greedy yeah totally here be like there's in theory like two kind of official stores um in the capital they're a bit far from from my house and they are in a really bad neighborhood so like those specialty cards are like and eh, i don't think it's worth it and i don't think those i forgot to check those stores i'm going to check those later because the store i found the other day that like, had like good prices like only bring like, like like only bought like 14 boxes or something like that so they also loud like really quickly it seems which yeah. sucks but they uh a lot of times stores are limited in what they can buy oh uh, um, well here yeah, it's, it's important right so like i wonder who they are even getting the boxes yeah uh if in america in the, the states they they have a uh a network set up for like their play stores and local game shops and everything and you have to be a part of that to buy directly from them well turns out again a lot of people are getting kicked from that because of the sales of this specific uh, set because they're overdoing it for everybody uh... What a mess. I just want to have like Lord of the Ring cards. Like, I just wanted to, to like open packs and see like if I get some of the the named characters, right? Some of the cool ones. Uh, why so hard? Right. Also, I've like run around all of Gridani and I can't find you after you've ran off. I didn't... where did you go? <laughs> I don't know where. I'm where the balloons are. Oh, float. Oh, float, Raven. <laughs> yeah, I got the courage, but the, uh, it was sold out, Marie. Like, I couldn't buy it. Yeah. Yeah, I got car block, right? Not cock block, but car block, I guess. Oh. Uh, Cardboard block. Cardboard block, there we go. Uh... Like, I, I saw, like, in the store I was trying to buy it, I saw that they had, like, a pre-order thingy, but I thought, like, maybe they will have, like, um, like, they will only, like, sell the pre-order to some customers, I mean, they had, like, extra boxes or something, and they would bring more, and they were like, no, we are sold out. We are not getting any more. I'm like, oh, God. Sucks. <laughs> I mean, I can blame the store. They, they get the, the stock that they can, right? Like... It's a miracle to get something over here. Oh god. I just want to lure the, key, the, the rings card. It's gonna look cool. Oh well. Yeah, hopefully you'll find some eventually. I doubt. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I doubt. Uh, they they have only the, the 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 commander preset decks, but like no, I want to pass. I don't want to like buy the the, the pre-made decks, but I may just buy one of the pre-made decks or something. 
We have like something, right? Yeah, just something hard one. Where are you going? Yeah. Hello, Casarino. How's it going? Welcome. I I'm, I'm, I'm caught. I like telling everyone my frustrations with like trying to buy Magic the Gathering cards and getting card blocked, cardboard blocked. I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to buy a box and we can really create on a stream. I was thinking like, oh, I can set up with the camera. So I can like point, configure so that if I point the the cards in a specific direction in the table, they will be like identified so you guys can read the stream and stuff. I'm like, no, I guess not. I can still do it, but for like show my normal card, but you know, that wasn't not the idea. Same. Not the same. Yeah. I want to try that setup dog for like doing like um maybe playing Magic the Gathering with someone through the internet, right? Because I can stream my camera, another person can stream their camera, and I can capture ball, I can configure so that a specific point in each person's stream with the cards, I show them on my screen, right? Like they um, can show the TV to allow chat to read it. A friend of mine, Chris, they do commander streams like that. Ooh, nice. Like with real cards? Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, they do competitive EDH, but I mean, it's still the same thing. It's just, you get to watch it in real time as someone's hopes and dreams get shattered <laughs> i i just want to play it casually i'm not interested in anything competitive like i, I don't like competitions because i love when i win yeah. but i hate when i lose so i prefer like not competing yeah and that that's one reason um ora, ora! when it comes to like competitive commander and stuff like that people understand not to do that <laughs> like most people I know that are in that crowd. And you exceed it for for eight months of here. torture. You know what they, you uh, are into at this point. Give me a second. I can't even say sorry sure. anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Wiki, for this. Uh, Thank you so much. Eight months, almost a Twitch baby. Thank you so much, Wiki. Eight months Mickey. and still no better message than a book. How disappointing. Wait, what? Oh god, they had trigger. Oh yeah, let it enable. Oh god, that's going to be a a, a trip. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Sorry, Irvin. You were saying? <laughs> oh, you're good. Um, <clears throat> most people that I know in that uh, that group that play competitively, um, they understand that not everyone that's not everyone's thing, and they're really chill about like not playing competitively with people. But then, like when they get around them themselves and like other people that do it, they just go ham, and I'm like, I can't deal with that. <laughs> yeah, when they smell one of their own. Suddenly the long bots disappear <laughs> with all the cards. Oh, Muri was asking like, Edu is blue plus white, right? Mm, I think more. It's blue and white or blue and black, I wonder. Which one? Uh, me, like your card? myself. What, what, what color do you say will go well with me? I could say blue white or blue black, either which one would probably be. I mean, I could do the the three of them, right? Why not a, a, a three color deck? Esper, that'd be the color you're you're looking for. What? Sorry. Esper. Oh, Esper. That's how you call the, the three color. Yeah. Um, three color decks are uh, blue, white, black, specifically, or Esper. Oh, They're named after the shards of Valara. What's that? Instruct me, Raven. Don't say. Uh, uh, the shards of Valara are, uh, they, <clears throat> they are sets from the shards and the Alara block, where mm -hmm. it was one world that was split off into like five. And then each one of those worlds basically lost two colors of mana while keeping the other three. 
Oh, okay, that's cool. So Esper was the one with like blue, white, and black. Yeah, they were rolled over by a syndicate of uh, Ethereum traders, which is like a special metal. And basically, the whole place was ruled by zombies and uh, um, artificers and stuff like that. It was oh. very cutthroat, very creepy. That's all super fun. What, what's a what's a commander for an Esper deck? Acting for a uh, friend. Bria. Hmm. Uh, Bria, the Ethereum sculptor. She's uh. It's artifact heavy, but she does a lot of good stuff. I mean, artifacts are fun. The problem is they're expensive. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how do you spell her? Uh, let me make sure I'm spelling it right. The Google. Yeah, I'm trying to Google her and can't find her. Uh, B E or B R E Y A. U Y R. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, and I know what. Yeah, what? Ethereum Japer. Ethereum Japer. Yeah, she's only like five bucks. Yes, the problem is that it's five bucks over there. Doesn't mean it's five bucks oh. here, and doesn't mean it's available because I saw a lot of cards. Like, what's that that super common elf that you tap it for for green mana, right? Like super mega common. I can't find it here. Harper. I wanted to. Yeah. I couldn't find it. I'll talk to Roddy and see if we can get you a care package of a bunch of no, no, I, I fear a care package because I may need to pay taxes on top of that, even if it's a gift. Oh, really? Yes. It's quite bad here. Oh. Like, I if you send that. me a package, you need to tell me the, the amount that you paid for the. Um, for the the package itself, like for the um, uh, delivery, and a general price of the whole package, because there's a chance I need to declare the package and pay tax on top of it. It's that bad. Yes. Like I once bought like something online for myself. Like I need to pay taxes because I bought it, right? Because that's how it works here. And the woman next to me was a uh, an old lady who her husband was in a business trip in like, I don't remember which European country, and he sent her a care packages of like um, candies and chocolates and stuff like that. And she was there to need to retire the package and pay that on top of the gift that her husband sent her. So yeah. That? Yes, <laughs> I know. <laughs> when I told people like taxes for, for important stuff are bad here, they don't realize how bad it is until I tell them stuff like that. Like, yes. Holy crap. Yes. Well, I'm glad I didn't send you a surprise one. Yes. To some of like, the cards I sent are expensive. Well, a, a few years ago, I had like, um, what was it, like one, two years ago? Like, I'm quite the active, not so much this day because I'm being a bit busy these last few months, but I'm a really active member of the Osora Subaru community. Uh, the VTuber, right? Of the fandom in the West, right? So, we have really uh, close ties with um, the, um, the Japanese fandom of her. And the Japanese fandom decided to send us some, some like, call live cards to us, and a, like a origami and a letter, right? To, to f some of the members of the server, right? And they sent me one, and I had to pay taxes on top of that. And it was like a small envelope of like, I don't know, 15 centimeters, like uh, five inches or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I had to be that on top of that. It was stupid. And I had to tell them like, yes, this is a gift. A friend of have Japan sent it to me. No, it's not money. No, it's not drugs. It's a gift. Yes, it's a gift. Okay. I will pay you anyway. Here's the money. I think it's about this. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Just dang. That's... Yes, it's it's this stuff. Yes, I, I just got like 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. that. That sounds like a brain. That sounds like an aneurysm waiting to happen. Yeah, no, also, like. Let me know whenever you're ready to move on. I'm out here just harvesting beans. Beans. But yeah, like, one of the things I'm thinking lately is like, okay, I could save up, like, a, a trip to the States without, like, with only food, traveling, and maybe some pain to have, like, some work to stay over and such for, like, two to three weeks will cost me, like, around 3000 $3,500, right? And I was like, okay, so I need to save up, like, $5,000 or $6,000 so I can go and buy, like, a thousand dollar in machine cards, a thousand dollar in like video games and computer stuff, and take all of that into into the country because, man, it's so expensive, and I could buy like a lot of stuff like would like cost me like three times or four times more here. And if I bring all of that into like open up already into a suitcase, they don't charge me anything, which is like, uh, so annoying. <laughs> It's cheaper for you to actually get a vacation. Yes. Than it is to, like, exactly. Just that, have you, yes, I have done. I have done that for some stuff that is cheaper in Uruguay, right? Which is like a five. Like the, the that place I went on boat a few weeks ago, right? Yeah. I have went sometimes to go there, have a vacation, and they buy some stuff there that was cheaper here because if I bought it and tried to like bring it to the country. Or like mail or something it would cost me more to like go there and do the trip and come back right and for magic stuff it, like i buy like a booster bot or something i open up and i get lucky with some of the singles or something i can sell them here and i will like get the money back probably or like it's at least the have the trip wondering. yeah i can could... <laughs> see it now comes over gets the one of wondering leaves <laughs> no if i get like if i get the, the one ring i'm not going to sell it here i'm going to sell it there i want dollars and we'll leave there quite comfortable for like a quite a few years like how <laughs> much people are, are expecting to sell that if they got it like a million that there's a a literal million dollar bounty online for it dude like I'm, I'm trying to, to grasp the meaning of one million dollars, right? Like, how long can I live in Argentina with like a million dollars? Because here, with like 500 bucks or so a month, you can survive, right? And I have a house, so I don't need to pay rent, right? So like, let me, let me divide like one million dollars over 500 so i can live 2000 months which means like it's 156 over. years <laughs> yeah i should oh if i <laughs> yeah yeah like if i work <laughs> like a bit on the side like i could probably leave my shop only sell bts public stuff and as long as i get like at least 200 dollars a month from like selling random stuff on the internet with codes and stuff yeah, pretty much I will be set. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Like, of course, I need to have that money legally because if I try to enter those million dollars in the country, they will, like, put it in pesos. The, the government will force me to put them on pesos, which will force me to change the the coin at half the, the real value. Don't ask me why. And then charge me um, taxes on top of that. And if I want to get dollars again, I will get like a quarter of the dollar. So, yes. The only problem is I will need to have all the dollars ideally, but apart from that, that sounds amazing. There are a million bucks to last a, like, a good amount of time in the States. Yeah. But the crap so bad here, it still wouldn't be like a lifelong thing. No, no, you need to get those dollars, get a good international bank, and come to live here. Because with here, right. with, like, dollars, you live as a king, you will eat better than you ever did in your life, I can assure you that. 
you just like travel every once and then to go to the state to buy magic, the gathering cards and games and such like that. That's the only problem. But for full, you are gold. <laughs> for everything else, it's fine. Everything else, yeah, yeah. For everything else, you don't want to be here, but. I, I wouldn't mind it. Honestly, I like other countries. I'm not a. Like, I know a lot of people around here are like. Pew pew patriot thing. I, I can't do that here. I need to throw fire sound. What the fuck is fire sound? What? I wasn't reading the quest. Oh, here. Sorry about yes. the weird music. Oh god, what? Oh, there we go. There was a, a specific hunt I had to get, and they were right here. Oh, Muri, you were telling, like, all is it to one color, sorry. Like, if you only knew that there's, like, a lot of quite consistent decks, more so in Commander, with, like, five colors, like... Yeah. There's a bit too much support for five colors if you search for it. More so because you can ignore your commander. Yeah. I've done five color commander actually recently. I have. Thank you so much for, for the follow, Shine. And welcome to this mess we call a stream. Sorry, um, Obama is talking. <laughs> like, yeah, like, it's, it's quite doable. Like, what was the, the commander? For everyone knows. Joda. Hmm? Uh, uh, Joda, the, the newest version of him. What, what do they do? Um, the long short, uh, all other legendary creatures get plus one plus one for each legendary creature you control. And oh, God. on top, yeah, on top of that, he does whenever you cast your first legendary card, you cascade basically. Oh, God. which means you exile cards from the top of your library and cast the first card that costs less than that. That's... Then you just shuffle it. Yeah. That's insane. It's really fun. Yeah, um, it's especially when fun. when I designed it around that mechanic. So everything has like a scaled value. So if I can get lucky, every time I cast one, I can cascade into another one. <laughs> Ten arrow beam. Yeah, I'm doing everyone. Yeah, like, the, the, I'm more so in Commander because a lot of the time you will want a lot of legendaries in your deck because you can only get one, so it doesn't matter if you don't get copyright, so having one legendary right. of, like, a lot of legendaries is quite good. So, damn. That sounds fun. That one's, it, it is fun. Um, I, I do agree with Murray about the two color, like, for 60 card constructed. Yeah. Or even for a commander, I, I personally have a few two-card commanders or two-color commanders that when they work, they work. And they are laser beam focused on what they do. But I also really like jank stuff. So. <laughs> well, the, the idea of commander is to play shank, right? Yeah. That's, that's a fun. Like, that, what, that's what commander looks fun to me. I need to still try out the, the new... Uh, version of my Boros deck that I updated after my first uh, Commander Spiant. I have yet to play it because, yeah, stores are not available near here. I need to, like, practically take half a Friday of work to, to go to the store. So, yeah. Eventually. I don't want to try, like, playing online. Like, if I can do the, the camera setup, I think that could be fun. Would you be up to it? I can help you set up the camera. Yeah, um, I was actually about to say I'm. Uh, while Arati is off at the music festival, um, I'm actually clearing off like parts of our like sunroom and stuff, so I can move my mm. laptop and camera setup and everything in there. Okay, we need to try. I will. I will experiment with the setup and then I will tell you. 
because I have that bonus that I updated, like I made Feather the commander, and I have the um, 2022 white uh, green token deck, the, the, the pre-made commander deck. I okay. bought that one. I want to try it out. I have exactly... Oh, I say exactly like I know that. I have like seven or eight commanders if you get bored with one, I can swap to another one. So basically, like we, we can find probably a commander deck that has a, a power level close enough to my decks, right? Oh, yeah, my, my mono red will, I almost guarantee has the same kind of power level. It is a very stupid built deck that I built specifically for two reasons. One, it's pirate themed, yar. <laughs> Uh, it steals your stuff and hits you with your stuff. <laughs> oh, that's a super fun. Uh, the other part is the uh, uh, the commander is extremely hot, and I find her to be like the best card. So. <laughs> oh, I was like, I, I was watching uh, Tolarian Community College, right? They have the um, the series uh, Shuffle Up and Play. And they did a season final where they were playing like Commander and they were playing all like super weird decks, right? And yeah. the professor was playing a deck that was really interesting as a concept, which was like summoning creatures to other people's uh, fields. And it was such an interesting deck as a concept. Oh, they can be. It, it can be really fun to play some decks like that where you're like, hey, I'm going to make you play this card. No one's gonna have fun, but we're gonna do this. Well, the, the game, like the, that video, like I would highly recommend if you if you like like seeing Weird Commander Shank. That video has like did an amazingly stupid combo where like no one was able to die because some card effects collided with each other. So the game like reached a stale point, right? Because no one could die because. Everyone had like uh, negative life and they couldn't die. I was like so so stupid. Uh, uh what was that card? Um There's the other one that the the version that you can't win or your opponents can't Yes, that win. one. Yeah, yeah, you can win Which... uh, no you can lose the game, your opponents can't win the game. That one. Yeah. Yeah. They were using that card and it got copied. There were not two copies of that in the table. And some other oh, card no. was also like preventing it to like do anything was super stupid. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that's so super. Like that's it, the the interesting the, the stuff I find interesting about magic that it has rules, but it doesn't have a limit, right? So like stuff can go weird ways that you won't see in Pokemon or Shugi or any other like card game right yeah it can go it's too south <laughs> <laughs> yeah there there's very few times where you can uh say oh i want to play this okay what happens everything breaks <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it breaks in an in an orderly way right because at this point in magic there's rules for rules for rules for rules right so most of the yeah. weird interactions have already been found and if you search online there's probably an errata or like a shell's decision on how to, to rule that. Mm -hmm. Oh, there are. And I've... I used to be a judge for the shop and everything. Oh, really? That's so cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's one of the perks of owning the shop was I actually got to go through the judge program for free. <laughs> So, oh, oh, wait, you need to pay if, if you are not an, a shop owner? Um, if you're... There are some places that do the judge rulings for like, hey, you have to pay to get your internship. Like, to go anything above a level one judge, you have to typically pay into like running tournaments or playing in tournaments and stuff like that. Oh. I got, I got lucky because I could just run them anyway. I own a shop. <laughs> Uh, but then I got double lucky in a sense of like that was back in the day 
they've changed it up now to where I think up to a L2 judge you can get just by being uh, a level 2 judges. Like, level 1s are like the starter and everyone's there kind of thing. Hmm. And then, like, level 2s are can run bigger tournaments. L3s can run regional tournaments. Um, the difference being how much you know about the card rules. I mean, it makes sense. You're a challenge. But uh, the the main point I was trying to make with it was um, there's some very stupid interactions that even experienced judges will just tell you, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> I I built a deck with one interaction like that, like specifically to irritate one of my friends, who's a judge. <laughs> I got what asked not to come do? back to the job. <laughs> what, what, uh, there's a specific, yeah. There's a specific commander with um a an elf uh the explorer card. I don't know if you're familiar with. I think Linvala. No, that's not good. So I'm I'm I know some magic lore, but like I'm, I'm, I'm like, yeah. Right, anyway, the, this yeah, this card is very um the 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 other card it pairs with is called Panglacial Worm. Savala oh, the Explorer. Yes, you know, like I heard about Panglacial Worm. Like, yeah, I just, heard about um, like a problematic card in general, right? Because it resolves weirdly, like it resolves middle stack or something like that, right? It resolves outside of the stack, and it doesn't. It's not neat or pretty when it does it, and it's just... Oof. <laughs> <laughs> so you made like, a deck with that? I did, and the, the, the other combo is, while you're searching your deck, you can tap her to draw a card. <laughs> while you're searching your deck while trying to cast something from your deck. It's oh, just... no. I, I don't think I've ever seen someone's like, a uh, judge? And I'm like, oh, please, let them come over. And they were walking over. And as soon as they see me sitting there smiling, I hold up the card, the Panglacial. And <laughs> he just goes, I will throw you out right now by your hair. <laughs> Uh, that's amazing. Uh, if I wasn't on friendly terms, if I was doing that to like a, some random judge, I would feel so bad. But yeah. I knew the person, so I was like, it's fine, it'll be funny. <laughs> well, I was watching a video of like, um, they were playing that old card, the, the one that made you play like a second game of magic with the remaining cards oh, in your deck yeah and they were combining combining that with a card that lets you uh ask another person to be your partner and they use half your deck so they were like doing a two a two versus one game where they suddenly doing a sub game and it was so stupid and this fact that it's Valid other rules. I, I, I know the, the card where you can play with another player. That was one of the those funny expansions, right? The but unsets, the fact, yeah. Yeah, the unsets. But the fact that it's like the rules are there and it will work if you follow them, it's amazing. I don't know. My favorite one was uh, getting people to scream squirrel in what? the middle of the shop because. Uh, we were playing one of the people, one of the cards is ask a random person not playing the game what their favorite animal is. If it's a squirrel, do this event, like do this thing. And so many people knew about that card that anyone we were asking at the time of the shop would just scream squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? But, wait, but, but was that one of the, the unsets or was it like a normal yeah. card? Oh, okay, okay. 
Um, we actually have that card set as like one of the uh... Sorry, how do you got? We had the um, the Earl of Squirrel set up in our shop in a frame because <laughs> of uh, we lost a pet flying squirrel at the time. Oh. And uh, the card looked just like him, so we just ended up mounting it in the shop as like an homage to him. Oh. I think we still got the, the we still got the card, but I don't know if we still have it framed or not. Aradio took care of that. I'm just following around the potato now. Do you miss having the shop, or do you feel like no, that that part of my life is over, and I'm happy it's over? Um, if it was anywhere else but here, a hundred percent, I would be fine with. Have you not attuned to these yet? Nope. <laughs> okay. That's too many. <laughs> oh no, I'm in the wrong way. Okay. Sorry, I got distracted by watching you attune to an Aetherite at level 43. I'm not from here. I'm not, it's not my fault I started in the freaking port. And then I can only, I need to come here only to say hi and give me the scholar quest. And that's it, like, no, a summer quest, like, I don't know. I, I assure you, there's a lot of other crystals I didn't attune yet. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Where the fuck are you going? I don't know. Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, wait. So if it was another country, you would probably, like, reconsider it, but... The states not uh well not even just the states just not this town oh the one we live at is just uh too american it's not even the american part it's that i know you've seen it on like shows and stuff that deep southern american like there's two side, like there's a poor side of the town where everyone's in trailers, and then there's a rich side where everyone's old and snooty. Yes, that's actually a twist. I thought it was a, an invention of the movies. Yeah, no, that is legit. This town. Oh god. There's a divide so shocking that you dr can drive from one part of the town at a like a Carl's Jr. or Hardee's. Take a small detour down, like, toward the main part of town. And all of a sudden you're like, did I fucking teleport? Damn. That's rough. It, it is, it's bad. And the old people in this town saw a card shop as, they're selling drugs to kids. I had... I had a protest once outside of it. It was weird. You're saying devil to the ki children. Right. Aha. I know what quest you're doing now. There's only one reason to talk to this surly old man. <laughs> yeah, tell me who killed her. Come on. Not the hard. Why didn't you, if he knew about that, why didn't he report it? Like, come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this man watched murders and terrible things happen. <laughs> I guess I better stay quiet about it. I was just keep here, continue with my life. Oh no, she become ugly! Oh no! She began receiving queer guests. <gasps> she, I had she never became, showed she, up there. She became an uh, 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 like uh, an, an ABC. No, uh, <laughs> a dictionary. There we go. Became a dictionary. <laughs> 
We're gonna make fire, yeah. I throw a no, like bathing in baby's blood. Or that is the name of my lady bon one of her handmaidens to her bed. Oh, I'm proceeding to mutilate the poor girl's face out now. Now I went a different direction. It fell to me to clean up the mess. As one does. Gotta go through and uh, mop up the blood. Akilinski are in a bench since then. Okay. So it was that the Lake of Guimara on my home for half, uh, for night on half a century. Man! No, don't bow to me! Go to. You need to go to Shale. That's. You You are. You a martyr. Like. <laughs> you are the you one. He's an accessory to murder, is what that yeah. is. I put the murder behind me. No, you didn't. You are just rejecting reality. You need to go to jail. You <laughs> need to go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> what an asshole. Man. Right? Yeah. You got to go unlock Hawk Manor. Yep. Okay, Manor. They sell poop there, right? What? Yeah, Manure, right? Get the no. <laughs> 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 That's not how it works! Damn. Oh, I, I forgot I had this grid. I'm going to walk. I think this is where Hawk Manor Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I go over there. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry, I don't actually have the Uber, by the way. No, I know, I know. That's not going to stop me from flying. You, you, you will be flying while you see a peasant using their legs. Actually moving. Struggling to survive. I'll go on the ground. Don't look down on me. I, I can't help it. You're like two foot tall. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, hell. These things are big. What? I ran through a Halio stopper. Oh. These little I hear them and... Oh, it's a uh, mission? Hmm? Yeah. Alright, um... So, how do you want to run your dungeon? Uh, probably with my legs? That's fair. Uh, I didn't know if you wanted to run it unsynced and me be your tank and you just follow behind or yeah, if you want to, yeah. if you want, you want to queue up with other people? Yeah, yeah, let's sync up and queue. All right. I just did Gotta find which one this is. It's just oh, regular right, Hawk Manor, like right? Yeah, it's all about Okay, Manor. Hmm? Okay, Manor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I, uh. 
Mm. All right. There you go. I don't, don't know the mechanics. Uh, are there mechanics in this dungeon? There's always mechanics. Oh, no. I don't know my rotation, so no worry. Uh, how... You're a healer, so, uh... Do you want me to pull normally? Uh, yeah. Follow your heart. Oh god, I need to fit... I've been thinking with the hell bar call and it's doing like some weird stuff at the moment. I don't know why. Okay. Oh god, why is the link with this? I need to fix my heart in a second. Is there a, a bar of I think we're going. <laughs> I am good for them. Oh. Oh god. Healer, hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm busy. Give me a second. I told you I was fitting my. I my they ass. ran off. You gave them to that? Not my fault. <laughs> leave them to that. I mean, <laughs> it does seem not mine. They decided to run. What the fuck? What's happening? Uh, yeah, like a a, a new like foul stuff. Above in my screen and it like threw everything off. I'm trying to fix it at the moment. There we go. I think it's there. Probably it's like a bit online, but okay. I don't know where you guys are. So. Right around the corner. Okay. Here, I'm here. Such a drama queen. At least say you're good at DPSing. Hmm? At least this crew's actually decent at uh, DPSing. Oh, thank you for telling them that I had an issue with the DPC. Yeah, yeah, no, they are, they're fine with that. I was just like, I'd, I'm gonna give a generic thing. Also, I don't like the fact that these things are called carpet stains. <laughs> I didn't look at that. It's amazing. I mean, my shield is pretty much killing you for most of the damage, so... I don't need to, like, do anything. Yeah, I... I was just picking at you earlier, because I was like... They ran off! It's not my fault! So, like, the, a, a day problem. Yeah, because suddenly a, 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 a random bar decided to, like, obstruct my HP bar. I couldn't select it, and everything, like, went to hell for that. I think the code is working again, but I'm not sure. I'm probably not going to get enough damage. Hopefully. What's a limit break? Uh. Like, can I do a limit break? Uh, I mean, in theory, yeah, you can. Uh, you want to save it for like the big bosses and stuff at the end, but. How do I trigger the limit break? There's a. Uh, it's a generic uh, action. Typically, it gets stuck on there when you unlock how to do limit breaks. Um, I, I put hit Dito's P. voice there to the normal one. Don't worry. Is that okay. key? I don't see it. 
Two car, no. Ruin, no. I don't know. I don't see like a limit break in my hot bar. I didn't get a story. Uh, that's okay. I put the old one. Hey, mana I have unlocked. Yeah. Well, it, the only, you want to save it for your DPS's. Um, Thanks, because Father they can do Luther. some really intense damage with people. Uh, or you save it for yourself, like, as a healer. Because, uh, you know, let people survive kind of thing. Is this enemy right there, maybe? Too far? No. No, it'll actually just say the words limit break and show the gauge and everything. It might not be at, at this level. I think it's I later the on. That's a weird part. Huh. The, the bar is what threw over my whole setup, so... Ooh, I want the choker. Alright. It was a bit lower, no? What? What's the PC? Oh. Oh, well, like, I didn't move my microphone. Sometimes I move myself to the side too much and my voice, like, goes all over the place. I don't think that's what. Yeah, I know there's stairs, but... The stairs are overrated. The characters or anything. Or nothing. That's the great thing about the Gunbreaker class. One of my attack actions self-heals. Oh, so we were complaining for nothing before. Oh, yeah, no, I... Um, at higher levels, I actually even get to put regen on myself. <laughs> oh, what? That yeah. sounds so busted. It's not necessarily um, because of the amount of aggro a gunbreaker will pull. Well, that's good because you are are in your tank. Yeah, yeah. I I just get the absolute shit can kicked out of me ninety percent of the time. <laughs> In a good way or in a bad way? No, no, in a good way. I, I personally love Gunbreaker. It's by far my favorite. Uh, I was hoping to, for you to say like, play. I love getting my ass kicked. I I love getting face kicked in. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, about there. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, I got. I don't know if we have to pick these keys up. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna follow them. Dang, they are really running this. Okay. Yeah. It's fine. That's fine. We need to lead them to die. Oh, we can. I can totally just turn off my. Uh, Aggression generator and let it happen. <laughs> that would be amazing, but no. Let's, let's, let's try to be like good players. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going for is like decent players. For now. <laughs> yeah. If they weren't like understanding about the PC thing, I would have like totally left them to die. But. Yeah. Oh. Let's go there. Good news about tank rotations, I go one, two, three, one, two, three a lot. <laughs> I'm trying to do some DPS where you are, I don't need to kill you. I'm trying to like be a responsible player. Yeah. To be fair, we t like I still need like major healing. Like if crap hits the the where the hell did they go? I don't know. I mean, yeah, you, you oh, do went. some healing for a long time, but you're doing fine. Yeah. Within my fairy, it's time to be enough healing. Oh. Huh? 
They should come back. Oh, it. Oh. A dwarf warrior? Oh. Uh, I was, oh. Okay. I was answering them. Oh. I was like, oh, okay, that that's makes sense. My bad. Because we're going here. At least they waited for us at the boss room. Yeah. Stay focused on me. Aha, uh -huh. alright. Ah! Ready my F's. Peace. Mixed up. Oh, that's amazing, Mori, congrats! Grab your team! Argentina won today too! It was a friendly match, but... It was a fun match. Hey. I watched like 30 minutes in the end. Oh, that's the other dungeon? No. Oh. I see a portal. That's the... Oh, Wait, cast a lot on that. Why can't I, I roll Neil for that? I need that. Huh? I know, I know, really, like, there, there was a piece of equipment that I could use, and I couldn't roll need. I don't understand how you uh, it's, you probably already had, like, that equipment. No, because it will, like, it was a purple one. It wouldn't allow me to, to roll it if I have it right. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't know. Oh, they're up here. Uh, that's fair. Yeah, I don't understand, too. It was in Roblox, I don't know if that's a big deal, that's funny. Oh, it wasn't Roblox. I didn't read that part. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> but let me read more myself. Like, my team, uh, my football team, right? The the the, the football team, like, uh, more like, won the Roblox Brazilian Cup in football. Like the Roblox Cup. Huh. Like, I didn't know there was Roblox football. I I didn't either. Oh, hello there. Oh, this is the murder yeah. woman? <laughs> yeah, that's the, the hideous woman. I mean, that's hideous? What? Alright, that's still get like a good, solid, like, paper bag. It'd be fun. Not to be paper bag, she's fine. Yeah. Even the flying part. I mean, that's a sad label, right? Yeah. It was in Ro I didn't know it this much. Uh, yeah, like, I, I, that seems like something quite specific. Do I need to help that people over there? That's like an enemy in the middle. I don't know what's happening. Are they oh, me... bad? Oh, they can fight you. Tell me when you are petrified. If you get petrified, like a gas sooner. Oh, like okay, that, Okay, I don't right? think I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, there we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm trying sorry. to get all... both of them over here. The she ain't gonna last too much longer. It's like in there, right? But I see some beasts No, Robins, yeah. Robins are really popular game. Uh, crap baskets. Like, it's a, it's a really old game that people still like. Like, uh, what's up? Other games like um, the, the Minecraft. No, I was not going to say like the other one. The, that's the old in the rules game. So Minecraft, you need to pay. Roblox is free, right? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I just watched the TPS use the limit break on it. <laughs> <laughs> that that's why you save it for the DPS because <laughs> they get to laser beam it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Roblox is like, uh, yeah, like, it's kind of like Minecraft in the sense, like, 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 Raven said, like, they said, like, it's like, um, creative game. 
Um, there's also like a game about uh, cheese labor. It's something. <laughs> Ooh, I want the roll. Yes, me. I'm rolling for everything. Yeah, I got the music. Oh, there that was. Yeah, the uh. Yeah, yeah, the roll. Orchestra roll. Yeah. There you go. You did Hawk Manor. We did the hot lady. The hot lady. Yeah. Right. The hot, ugly lady. I mean, look, she self-describes as a uh, a hideous woman that had to kill people to stay pretty. <laughs> I think the killing people worked. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, the killing people work clearly. What if I get anything off these creatures? The funny part from the competition didn't have anything to do with the official team, but it was also special on Twitter. The official Twitter of the team posting about. Oh, it was like some random team who called themselves the same as the as the football team. That's insane. Mm. Uh, the, the fact that the, the real football team like got wind of that. All of Roblox again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of help the What lady is that you? Oh no. No, oh, Kingdom Heart characters. No. Oh, the Asians. No, no more is here. Let's run. They've got a white van full of candy. Just <laughs> waiting for you. Full of Keyblade. God. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I got the general idea. Like, that, that, that's super crazy that the real teams got win of that. <laughs> no, be free, be free. Don't worry. Yeah, I definitely need to check what's happening with the hell bar because it's going all over the place in cinematics. Doing normal gameplay is fine, but... I mean, I already added a way to prevent that, but I forgot to add the exception for Final Fantasy. I only added it for, for Mega Man. It's a work in progress. Yeah, it's a cool work in progress, though. I like yeah. it. Yeah! I'm super happy how it's where it's working. The fact it's working already with Mega Man, it's also half working with Zelda. I need to do, like, some tinkering. So when I start like Tear of the Kingdom, probably in July, I will have it like working for that. I will have like flying hearts or something around my head. I, I don't know. There you Still go. thinking how I'm going, going to do it. And eventually, hopefully, I will get money out of it. <laughs> there you go. That's yeah. the. That'd be a neat little in gold. Yeah. Making a crowd ton of money off of like people buying up, like using it. What the hell? Yeah. Oh. I, I will probably, given how, how the code works and the fact that it needs some like setup depending on some games, um, like farther setup, like I would like, I want to advance the UI so it works like quite well and you can configure it properly for most games. But I will want to maybe, I will try the Patreon route, right? So people need to pay like quote unquote a subscription to use it. So I can like give updates for and add it for for more games, right? Yeah. That makes sense. Because some games will need some further tinkering and I can like probably configure it properly more so than the, the, the channel and user. So that way hopefully that could be a good monthly income. Between that and BTS Paul, they could be like... Yeah, I I think that'd be a really cool thing to see take off. Yeah, that's my thing. I still need a, f a few, like, months until it reaches, like, a proper point, I think, where... Well, I could probably release it like this, if it's a subscription, and people are up, they're down for the scuff, right? 
They can make it work yeah. with like Street Fighter seats or something like that, something popular nowadays. Maybe. Go through and make it actually like... Um, sorry, I was chubbing food in my pail. Yeah. Make it something where people actively pick up everything with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The idea is to pick, like, it can pick any game. Because the general uh, logic is the, of the code is quite um, broad. Uh, main issue at the moment is where games have, like, um, non defined why, like in Breath of the Wild, because the hearts are, like, not properly in a property while like here here is a helper right so it's easy to pick up but like real the wild has like um the heart like with no background or anything so that makes the code a bit harder to detect the the help um for numbers in my math link work i need to, i need to fine tune the code a little bit more because it picks the numbers on the screen so i need to like make uh, the code detect the numbers a bit better yeah because the, the the thing is that it needs to run like a few times per frame right if it was like reading the screen for example every couple of frames i can use like a call to like properly read the screen maybe but i can't because that's super costly and it needs to like run like this right so yeah it's nice it's easy to have it working it's hard to have something work consistently and be useful right like it's not the same to be useful for me that to be useful for other people yeah uh, and that's where the patreon thing comes in where you can get feedback and sort of update what you need as it goes yeah i got money could you use an eighth right ticket Yes, but uh, I realized too late and I'm like, I'm not really going there. Why is a naked bunny running around? Uh, 500. Oh, yeah, like a long, like a middle term plan, I guess. We'll see. How does yeah. it like have like a. a, a after I finish the, the AI stuff for BT Spot, I'm going to release hopefully around next week. I will try to like make this in the proper build and maybe like start making other people test it. I just need to make. add a few more tools to properly configure it. So if it gets like unsynced, like it happened a, a, a bit, little bit ago, like during the raid. So you can like fix it quickly. I don't have to take like one minute or two minutes of the ride to fit it up. Like, if I, you can do like a two second thingy to fit it if it gets stuck. Yeah, or it just make it where it doesn't get stuck. Yeah. I mean, that's too much to ask, right? For for an early build, that's too much to ask. But yes, that's also true. That's too much hope, right there. Yeah, yeah, that's too much hope. The the code is a bit charming. But the fact that it works with any game, I think, like, compensate for that, right? Oh, yeah. No, the, the fact that it picks up other games at all is amazing. Yeah. From, the, the from a Network coding one, standpoint. <laughs> the Mega Battle Network one was so hard to make it work because of the numbers. I was like, oh, it's going to be easy. No, technology didn't come as far as I thought. So I was like, okay, let's use... Tetris logic. God. It work, but it needs a bit more, a bit more work. I know how I want to fix it eventually, but it's going to take me a while. Man, I love the design of this girl, but like how useless she is. Like, I, I, I like the design. I don't like her as a character. Of Menphilia? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm I trying, but I, I don't like her. At the most important power of the world, I can see cinematics. Sure, okay. 
That's her power. Yeah, you get to see the. Hmm? You get to see the past. You know, I like that I have the power. It's only that she has it, because she doesn't do doesn't do anything with that. No, the fact that she has it's sort of dumb because like oh, yes. the whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The problem with her, not with me. I like, I love that I have that power. It's cool. I thought you were talking about just the echo in no, general. No, no, no. The power is great for a player standpoint and for how it integrates with the history of the the game, right? The game as a product, right? I see. I find it like mm -hmm. super interesting, and I think it's like a great solution to like unite the two versions of the game, like the OG 14 and Real Reborn, right? I think it's amazing. Yeah. I think it's dumb that she says that. I'm super important because I have that power too. Like, no, girl, because you have that power and you're doing anything. There's nothing with the power. Like, it's useless to you. Do something. Uh, Do better. Not even like slight spoilers. I don't mm -hmm. ever remember her using it. She says she has it. Yeah, I and there's evidence in other scenes later on that shows that she has it. But I don't remember her ever using it productively. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing. It's it's one of those moments like, you could have done so much Next, more. Requests are exactly, that's my problem. Like, she's cute, so she gets a pass, I guess, but that's about it. Concerning the kobolds, they sent such copious notes Gets a pass on. because the belly button's exposed. That is exactly. the entire thing. <laughs> that's, everything else is nope. Yes. Also, I have been looking for sprouts around the area, and I feel creepy saying that. <laughs> oh, I'm, I was surprised that you are still like a green core, like a, like a green bean in your username. I thought you were really like... Right? Like, at the point you are in the game, I thought you were really like graduated. I, I thought it was once you beat a Realm Reborn. Nope. Once you get to level 60. Nope. Kind. I don't know when I'm going to lose the bean. In the vicinity of Limsa Lumnin. At this point, I'm sort of afraid. Like, am I a bean forever? Support for the endeavor. Yeah, look, now that you mention it, I remember that uh, Chessy Cuts, like a YouTuber, I remember he was playing the mystery co like, quest for like a year or two, like quite slowly in the stream. I think he lost the green bean like really late into the game. Because I remember he did like a, a whole thing like, oh, I'm losing my green bean today or something like that. And he did a whole thing about that. And I think he was already like way finished with Grand Ring Grand Ball at that point. Like, damn. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I'm. Um... I don't know. To me, I'm, I'm excited for the day it happens. They are no because I, I can join the ranks make. of. Other non beans, <laughs> the grand but the at the same time, I've already got my own free company. I've already like gone through so many quests with it. I'm, I just sort of like the bean there. Grace of the Navigator, where the mercenaries I might add it to my adventure plate. <laughs> you can only have like the bean or the crown, right? Uh, there's the bean. Or nothing. The crown is if you take mentor. Yeah, yeah, I know which, it's mentor. Yeah, which I don't ever plan on being because I. Thankfully, the eh. coming was decided. You don't like people, yes. But that is beside the point. I mean, at all, yeah. So no. As souls will them to exist. I put up with y'all, but that's about primals. it. We get a free pass. Yeah, I like y'all. The maelstroms uh, kept a watchful eye upon the beast ooh, tribes. You can add money to that. In particular, ever since. Sorry, I'm looking at the uh, things you can put on your adventure plate. Unlike Ifrit, we know scarcely anything of Titan. He's a Titan. Unfortunately, the hey, you're gonna kill Titan. To have bested yeah. him, the modestly named company of heroes, Miggy. disbanded what? five years since. And what? Are not in the habit what do you call him? Chronicles. But she's, he's got a dumpy. I, I never worse. saw it in this game, so I, I can't tell you for sure. Like, I know he's, he tends to be like an etiquette dude, so. 
The Maelstrom's help is of course I appreciated, did. but even if we had their yeah, whole armada at our disposal, <laughs> we could still find ourselves overmatched. A pity oh, I can put all my minions on there. Gentle sensibilities of the Sylphs. A peaceful resolution would be more My main problem with this Hellbar thingy is that the more I progress with the call, the more I want to... I, I'm thinking like, man, if I modify the call like this, and add this and that and that, I can make like a Final Fantasy... Uh, for uh, like one through seeds co-op mall so that people can control each one its own character its own character with like some connection settings and stuff i'm like man i want to try that <laughs> nice it, it's a, it, i know it's quite random and it's like a lot of like if you are to survive, it's a lot of like champagne a lot of like speak for uh, you. points logic points they are, but, but like, I think it could be possible, it could be fun, I don't know. No one would think you a coward were you to decline. It could be fun or it could be horrifying, one of the two. Yes. Like, I have this big so idea in my accept? mind, like, I can't, like, to maybe, like, mold, like, they will be super hard, but, like, Final Fantasy IV, right? Because that's the, the one, the old one, the, the, the one I, I play, like, fully, right? So, I was thinking, like, yeah. okay, Final Fantasy IV, I know all the player characters, so I can like maybe cast a person to play each character, right? And I can mod the game, like hire an artist, mod the game, and make a sprite for each person based on, on themselves, right? So like because in, in, in four they leave and enter the party like a lot of times, a lot of characters. So I can like maybe champ, like do a, a big collab when people start like coming on and off the stream whenever the character pops up, but like seem like a scheduling nightmare, right? Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. It could be cool. Thank you. But it doesn't seem like a pain in the butt to coordinate that amount of people. And more so if someone tells me like, we yes, I want to well be in the game. And then the when time comes after stola. three months of preparation and that is already commissioned and done those parts, they will be like, oh, no, I don't want to play. Or no, I'm busy. I'm always busy. And I can never go to the thing. I'm like, see it coming. Nice. May I ask but it could be fine. <laughs> yeah. I never thought it in question. Ever relied on I, I mean, it could be really... Huh? Mm -hmm. It could be really fun, or it could be like... Very well. We will spare no... <laughs> horrifying if... Yeah. Oh, well, imagine that, but in Final Fantasy Seeds, which has like, what? Like, 30 unique characters or something like that? <laughs> uh, yeah. If you could find a baseline work workaround for it, um, that would be really far. neat. Like a thing that just takes already existing assets and uses them. Yeah, I guess so. Like maybe just like yeah, like maybe use like use a character generator or something like that, so people can generate their own character and send the sprites at least to. If someone like bails down, someone else can can fit in, right? Yeah. Ariange, send word or, to the students of Baldessian and they're probably, yes, you if you would. They're, they're probably a Final Fantasy sprite generator, right? For the old games, right? Final Fantasy Sprite Generator. It has to be, right? I'm going to you know what happened in the last stream? I'm going to restart the the thingy, the activate, activate there. Everything breaks. There we go. Yeah, that's ball. Halfway through the stream, the audio broke. And it got like unsynced. My voice was fine, but fine. The game audio broke. I don't know why. So half the stream was like the first half of the stream, the, the first a third of the stream was muted because I was an idiot. I forgot to mute the game. The other two thirds of the stream, the audio is fine. The last third of the stream, the audio is unsynced. Like, it was a mess of a ball. I was like, oh no, what's happening? Oh. Papalino, compile all the information. Okay, the audio seems fine at the moment. I'm Little checking, like, maybe. after the reset, at least it's fine. So, at least the, the last half hour of the stream is going to be fine. Oh. So unsynced. Janked up. Situation when you reach the sailor's ward. Okay, there are sprite makers, it says here. 
Let me try one. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Now that I have the idea. Oh, well, no, this is a sprite collection, not a sprite maker. Oh, this is like a tool? I think I need to download it. This has to be one online, right? Free AI art generator, no? Not touching that. Uh, oh. <laughs> ah! Thank you, Murray. Sorry. My, my, whenever I get distracted and I get something on my mind, I can't stop myself. Oh, okay. I think I found one that looks promising. Okay, this is just the sprite, so not this one. Oh, it looks like shit. What about this one? Okay, this one looks fine. Let me show you my screen. Yeah, my model is like bugging all over, but because Chrome kills my PC, but in a second. Okay, so look at this, like. It looks quite good. I mean, not not crop Raven's head. There we go. Like, what? can you like you can change male, female? Oh god, there's different heads. Let me see hair. Afro. There's different type of afros. What? Yeah, different colors. I mean, yeah. You know something Final Fantasy art, but it can be cropped down, I guess. Shufra. Sure. That's not... <laughs> yeah, <I don't... laughs> That's not offensive at all. Damn. I'm not sure. I'm not going to comment. Uh... <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> Opens it up. Oh, that's just racist. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, at least I got the animations for the fishing sprite looking correct. Yeah, it looks... It could be useful. But yeah, let's, let's not go down this road at the moment. But yes, maybe something like that. I would like something more Final Fantasy style, right? That was more like RPG Maker. Yeah, that really was an RPG. I think that really was just RPG Maker. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. one of their assets that got pulled out. Yeah, it looked like an RPG Maker to me. But um, something more pixely. I don't know. Maybe I can find an artist who is not expensive. And maybe if I tell them, like, yes, I want to do like 30 seats character. Right, for five fancy seats or something, right? <laughs> Get some sympathy out of it, be like, please help. I mean, I can, I can always like just convince enough people to have like a full party, like five people, right, or seats. I don't remember which one, how many there were in four, for example. And I can just switch the the characters around and add like a beer or something, like, oh yeah, Raven this this week is playing Stella, so. That's Raven with a beer. And then when Tela leaves the party and I don't know, one of the twins join, I give you like a bonnet or hmm. something. It's just, it's just my character over and over with a fake mustache, fake glasses. Exactly. I think that that could be funny and that could be a good, good worker, all right? Like if I commission like five people or something that I know I can coerce into playing, I can just like switch them around. Yeah. And I can we, we can just pretend it's a different character. Oh Raven dies, oh no! Oh hello Raven! Welcome to the party. <laughs> right. Oh, you went to Limsa without me. I see how this is. <laughs> I'm over Sorry, here. I was, talking, mining. I was thinking about the sprites and forgot to tell you. Yeah, it's all good. I'm over here just mining away. 
that could be really? maybe a good birthday stream, right? If I can organize it properly, if I can coordinate with people properly, I can organize it like maybe for November. That could be a fun stream. Hmm. Something to think about. Yeah. Also, I uh, I know they probably can't hear it, but uh, someone is watching us from their uh, their booth. Ooh. So if you can hear me, Aradia, hello. Yeah, you can hear us. Give us a sign. Yeah, that is a ghost now. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, we, we knew eventually what was going to happen, right? Hmm. Where the freak I'm going? Where are you going? I don't know! I'm lost! You You're in Limsa. Right How are you lost? Um, so, I don't know if I ever told you, like, one time my friend Fury White came to Argentina. We're going to, like, a. Zelda concert, right? Where they play all the songs, right? They're going to Buenos Aires. I was like, oh yeah, come here. We can go together. Yeah, I know the area. We can go and eat, and then we have enough time to go there. Like, no problem. I know this area, like, by the back of my hand. Because it was true. I work around that area. I studied around that area. So, like, I was like, oh yeah, I know that area. Like, yeah, we got lost. No joke. We got lost in an area that I went on. Almost every day. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, when you say like, oh, how you get lost? Uh, uh, yes. Yes. I'm only saying that because Arati is not here to call me out for also that. <laughs> um, I have hardcore gotten lost <laughs> in my hometown just existing I, I i enter buildings and if i'm not paying enough attention when i want to get out i don't remember where the exit is it happened to me a lot but like sometimes i want to leave a building i'm like where is the exit like if it's a new building right i know how to create it on my house right it's not that far yeah I use GPS a lot, it's fine. Yeah, GPS, but man, back in the day, there wasn't GPS. Like, without going to, to to college, my phone didn't have GPS. So, man, had like the guy, like the, the map for the city in my hand, and I would be in the bus if I needed to go like somewhere new, and I would be like look, following my finger the path of the bus just to make sure to not get lost. It was that bad. Yeah, same. And smartphones like made life so much easier. Like I got they really person. did. Like, mm. oh, go on. Sorry. No, no, no. Go on. Uh, I was just agreeing. Like, yeah, they made everything so much easier. Yeah. Like I got my first smartphone like end of 2010, and man, it was a game changer for me. No, 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 I still travel with the, the map of the city just in case for, for a, a year or two, but just being able to like getting lost and putting in like good maps. Where am I? It helped quite a lot. Yeah, please help. Please help. Yeah, like the phone signal wasn't the best back then. So it definitely got better. But you know. It was good. And now I can't leave my house without the GPS. Like, man. How do we live without technology? We didn't go very far. And that's something else. Uh, I, I will say this out of uh, contempt for a bunch of my, my age group having like, oh, kids nowadays don't know how to do this. We didn't know how to do a lot of stuff back in the day. Yeah, for sure. And kids these days know, like, know to do a lot of stuff that we didn't do. 
We don't know how yeah. to. Like, the amount of movement humans do is, like, on average, the average American adult <laughs> in their 30, like, mid-30s travels more, like, has a larger travel range in their lifetime than, like, kings and queens of a yes like of the 1700s <laughs> like 1800s <laughs> like yeah some people travel around the world and that skews it a bit but some people in our group travel around the world <laughs> yeah like it's we're living a quite the amazing era to be honest we were born <laughs> Too soon to go to the stars, but just in time to have microwave burritos. I mean, it's a fair trade off. It's a fair trade, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we talk about the stars, but we have a lot of places in, in the air that we still have to visit, right? So, yeah. Not, not like we need. Uh, it. I, I flip back to see which cutscene you're watching and you're talking to mommy, so. Yeah. It's cool. Uh, and I, I, I love how Ishtola is so has the worst posture ever. It doesn't make me laugh. Oh, <laughs> I never noticed that. Yes, like she look, you look her at her from the front, and she looks like so majestic and all that, and you see her from the side, and she's like, eh. <laughs> crotch out back yeah, crotch like, eh. arch. I mean, she's cool. <laughs> I like her anyways, but it made me laugh. It's oh. Like it always made me laugh. Like I, I know she's a cat. They have that posture, but I don't know. Is the combination of that and her like sweater? I don't know. Go ahead. <laughs> I was talking about the admiral uh, when I came back to the screen. Saw you talking to Merweb. Oh, yeah, you're talking about mommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. mommy's mom. And, and, like, I was talking about this Tola because mom already left there, but... Yeah. And also, like, the posture's just got awful. Yeah, she has the worst right, posture. Yeah. Okay, I need Swear to go I to Costa del Sol. <sighs> Alright. You know, I can teleport you us there, like... I, can go I can't see you. Uh, that, my loading screen probably long. Ooh, I have another spell. Spell can be cast without interruption. Oh. Ooh. That sounds useless. Um. Hmm? Sure, cast is extremely useful when you get hit with an AoE that knocks you back. Yeah, it's useful in specific yeah. situations. <laughs> It'll prevent you from being. Passed around, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, like, I cast that when I see, like, I, I'm in an AOE and I need to kill a specific party member. I cast that and then, like, cast a heal. I can ignore the, the AOE, basically, right? Yeah. yeah You'll still take the damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need to survive. That, that's the other thing, but, you know. Where the fuck am I going? I'm in the right place? Oh, yes. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, I need to go here. <laughs> oh, no. I know what quest you're going on. Is it start of the Titan quest? I think I remember this is... You have to go speak with Trakum, and then... You'll start the, uh... The... Fun, fun quests of the Adventuring Guild. Fun, fun, fun. Or the, uh... uh you know, I keep getting told that this giant crab is, like... Beyond killable. And I'm, I'm just really wanting to go murder it eventually. Which crab? I don't see it. Oh, that one? 
there, there's one hunt that's down here. Oh, I, I couldn't see you in Rock Star. In the, in the, in the spear, I mean. These crow here? No, no, these are, they're, these are parts of like regular fates and stuff. Yeah. There's one that spawns way down here. That's called like Old Red or something like that. Like, they're not here right now, but I was hoping it was. Because I was going to die on your streak. <laughs> but he's probably meant to be hunted as a, as a group, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and the reason I say that is there was also another um, thing that we ended up fighting uh, because I got ambitious and Aradia is kind and fought this thing with me for 33 in real life minutes <laughs> why um because I'm a stubborn bastard and once <laughs> I start a fight I don't leave it <laughs> I uh I sit there and fought his, his name is Gojamira it is a giant uh monstrosity basically describe it as best as you can uh it's a three-headed chimera with a goat's head a ram's head or a lion's head and a snake head hmm. and it's about twice as tall as these gobus here oh damn yeah and uh It's a S rank uh, hunt, not hunt, but a, an S rank uh, fate. That's supposed to be taken on with a party of like four to eight. <laughs> uh, that that you are masochistic, yeah. Wait a second, there's no crystal here. What? No. No, this is one of the farms you just have to run to every time. Yeah, there's no a, a crystal in the whole area, like... There's one, um, like, down there in Borabi Dogs. Like, what? Yeah, that's Why? it. Why? To make you, you enjoy you the country. So, much? Huh? I want, so like, I give I you know some this good... area, like, I, I want, like, did I miss a crystal? No. No, it's just, uh... You get to run around and enjoy the countryside. Oh, yeah. Titan trade them. Where? Your little ma dot disappeared. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, you went to the mist. Yeah, special skill, yeah. Either flow gauge in. Wait! I unlock the other gauge? What I do to have the other gauge? Did I re unlock it? Oh, that would work. Hmm? Oh yeah, I I got like, so I got the other gosh, skills again. Oh, interesting. Oh, so I have, I have mana back with that. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Because I when I was in the previous class, right in the non, scholar one. I had the other gosh before, and it got removed. So I was like, "Oh, okay, what's a feature of that class, right?" You no, know, I got it back now. Yeah. But but like twenty levels after, or fifteen, like. Okay. Yeah, because they reset certain actions and stuff to use. Uh, while you talk to this man, I I'm gonna go farm. I, I question the, the design decisions. That's the only thing. Like, I already had it. I thought it was removed because it wasn't a class feature, but I guess not. Ah. Uh, welcome to Final Fantasy XIV. Well, Final Fantasy XIV. Yes, I still remember that I got added a class to my hotbar that didn't work. Like a class, a, a skill, I mean. Like, I still remember that. That, that was quite the moment. 
Yep. Just enjoy talking to the man in the loincloth. Isn't Tidus the, the guy from Final Fantasy X? Yep. Why is he called? Does he have pants? In the guy doesn't have pants. Oh, he's got a, a subligar, which is just a loincloth. Oh, okay. So he doesn't have pants. Good. No pants for that man. Yeah, I can see his butt. And his groin. Okay. Yep. He'll talk about it too here in a minute. Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, that's the important feature of the quest. Gotcha. Yes, I'm. I'm nah, like, nah. I didn't pay attention to his outfit the, when I first saw him because I was distracted by his hat. But no, that's quite the outfit. Yeah. It is indeed an outfit. Yes, I. I'm. He has balls. I wouldn't be able to wear that outfit. Oh, good for him, I guess. Yep. There are some reasons that I can't look at that mace. <laughs> putter, 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 putter. Oh, no. Ah! Why is it targeting? The cobble! Come, look around! Attack, look around! No! What? Excuse me. I'm confused. So am I. Oh. Wait, that's damage too? What, the chocobo? No, then you should drain. I didn't notice that... I, I was reading the, the abilities wrong. I didn't realize it was... Damn it. Just a tiny bit. Oh god, go away! You know that? Why do I have? Oh, because uh, I'm still on the part. I was like, why am I getting animal skins? is that map oh, I can't use the damage I don't know if Varadi is still watching but I now have two treasure maps for us to go on later Ooh. I would take you along with them but they're uh, they recommend level 50 and above yeah, well, I'm 45, so I'm not that far from there. Yeah, and you'd probably be alright to, like, yeah, not Peter, die. Man. It's. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I can heal you guys then. Well, it's the the map I have currently active. Uh, you don't have that area unlocked. Oh, gotcha. Because it is. Where is that at? Did it be. Somewhere on Earth? The Sea of Clouds. Um, basically, there's later on in the game you'll find a bunch of floating islands. Oh, I've already found the floating islands. Maybe I... or more floating islands. Like, I oh, it's an... I mean, there are floating islands in 
Heaven Sword or in a, a Realm Reborn, but this is like very massive. Why well, like why is my screen lagging so much? I somehow left Photoshop open the whole time while I was streaming. Ah, uh, like that's rough. Yeah, why did I left Photoshop open? Oh, oh well. A bit too late. I figured that out two hours into the stream, so a bit late. Fine. Uh -huh. <gasps> Sorry, I didn't mean to like distract you with killing dodos. No, don't worry. Uh, a tiara. Yeah. I'm gonna do a dodo. <laughs> it's like gonna make your poor fairy work over time. Fucking this quest. <laughs> that this quest, the quest is quite something. Okay, let 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 me finish this quest. Oh, I need to do <laughs> the quest. There's me. Goodbye, Raven. Goodbye. Oh. <gasps> no, I have to leave you. <laughs> You're not allowed to leave me. No one leaves me. <laughs> You can take it up with the truck while he's still in the kitchen. What? What? Hey, move my chocolate. Wait, I can use my chocolate here? I don't think so. What, I can rocks? Yeah, it's fine. Do I need to attack it with melee? I need to attack it with melee, gotcha. I can't use magic. Oh, I I, I got level down, okay. I wonder how I can... Yeah, I forgot it. Because the game is dumb, and ring one and ring two are different spells. So, if I get level down, I need to use the, le the ring one spell because it's not... I can attack! I love it yep. when it happens. Yeah. So much fun! It, it. It is indeed an interesting design choice. If you're going to level me down, you can just leave, like, replace automatically the spell so I can use it, right? Like... Well, not only that, like, just... Maybe just change the spells around to be a little bit weaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, attack. Do I to hit the bomb? I'm not going to hit the bomb. There we go. I am so close to actually leveling up. Uh, 
I say so close, it's 20,000 experience. Never mind. Ooh. Yeah, that's not like a lot. <laughs> uh, once you get past level 60, it's a bit slowed down on level progression. I've been level 63 for a hot minute now. That's so rough. Okay. Uh, it's because I'm not doing the dungeon yeah, you're, roulette. You're crafting and fishing and doing all that. <laughs> You're I'm level game. 70. Yeah. I'm level 71 on my fish. <laughs> Wait, excuse me? Yeah. That's insane. Caps 90. And I think if I really wanted to, after stream, I could probably get there. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Let's call it a day here for today. Thank you so much, <laughs> Raven. For accompanying me yeah. today. It was fun. Uh, good luck with everything. Yeah, we need to eventually try oh. that, that my Magic the Gathering stuff with the, the camera. I will try the setup and I will tell you then. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. Uh, there we go. Like that. There we go. Thank you all <laughs> for coming today. Raven, do you have anything you want to announce? You know that already is not here. Uh, no, I'm typically just cleaning up our house while they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm now going to be working on a Magic the Gathering deck to specifically just either irritate or uh, <laughs> bother you. <laughs> That's so like a plan. I can send you a, a, a list of my cards so you can prepare accordingly if you want. <laughs> okay. Um, on my side, uh, next stream we will train on Saturday to do that choose your own adventure stuff that we're talking about. Hopefully, we'll have enough time to to prepare the setup for that. I can't promise when the stream is going to start because it will depend like when I will be able to finish all that. But yeah. Good night to you too, Morian. Good night, everyone. Have a rest of, rest of your day night whatever is your time zone next stream on saturday we'll do the like i said the choose your adventure stuff if we like, manage to like set it up properly uh probably around 5 p.m est or so so keep an eye open on the discord server or on twitter have an amazing night everyone have an amazing friday and hopefully you will survive for the weekend here it's, it's a long weekend which means i can work on bts blog on on monday without anyone Boring me, so yeah, work, more work, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I will be able to like grab up the, the new update for BTS Pog over this weekend. So crossing my fingers, crossing my toes, crossing my eyes, crossing everything. Thank you everyone. Have a ending. See you guys. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>